Hello and welcome, this is Tech Enthusiast and in this video we will go through macOS like Linux distribution called Qtfish OS. I will also put a link in the video description down below so you can try Qtfish OS on your own. And with that being said, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like this video so YouTube algorithm can push out my videos to wider audience. And with that said, Let's take a look. So today we will take a deep dive into a Linux distro called Sunfish OS. So if we go straight to their website, for, uh, for example here, their uh, cutefishos.com, uh, they are claiming that they will make a better experience desktop operating system. And they are also focusing on simplicity beauty and practicality. They also are claiming to have better user experience, simple and exquisite design, which is the most suitable design to enhance user experience. They are also claiming security and stability. Qtfish OS is also based on the open source Linux kernel. Linux is also more secure than other operating system and it has developers from all over the world to review its code and ensure that there are no bugs and backdoors. Qtfish also developed some applications to uh, ensure that users have experienced and unified UI, UX experience in their daily use. And Qtfish OS is also an open, open source project, so anyone can understand how it works and participate in collaboration. So we can also see uh, their code on their GitHub. So about Qtfish, um, Qtfish is a Linux desktop operating system that focuses on simplicity, beauty and practicality. So this is the, basically the same as on their first introduction uh, page as seen right there. And their goal is to provide users with a comfortable interface design, a better user experience and meet the needs of various scenarios. So to download Qtfish OS, for example, they have uh, two other uh, distributions, Arch Linux and Manjaro. And today we will take a look at Manjaro version of this uh, Qtfish operating system. So now I will just go through some settings and we will review all these settings. So for about section right here, we are currently running Qtfish OS, which is built on Manjaro Linux version 0 0.3. Uh, let's go first to the network and connection settings. So for the VLAN, this is the Wi-Fi, but I don't have actually Wi-Fi card on my computer right now. So VLAN is actually useless. So Ethernet, we are actually connected. We can also disable the Ethernet connection from these settings right here. For the display, we can change the resolution, refresh rate, rotation of the monitors and scale of the monitors. For the appearance, we can have two themes, light and dark theme. So for example, we can enable dark theme. As you can see, we have this dark theme of the Qtfish OS. And also I can dim the wallpaper with this setting, setting right here. So we have dim wallpaper right here. So I will undo that. And also I will go back to the light theme for the demonstrational purposes. We can also change uh, accent color. For example, as you can see right there, the accent color is changing right uh, here on this square. I'll put it back to the light blue color. So fonts, we can also change some fonts just like in any other, for example, uh, in Windows, we can also change uh, fonts right there and anti-aliasing, we can also uh, disable the smoothing of the edges by disabling anti-aliasing. So we can also change the background. For example, we can um, pick a, another image or let's say another color, for example, the green one. But now, for now, I will just pick, let's say, which one? For example, this one, the C. I think this is the quite nice one. So also the dock, we can also put the, the dock to the left, to the bottom, as shown earlier, and on the right. But at the bottom, I think this is the right position for the dock. We can also change the dock size. Let's say, for example, the smaller one, the medium one, the large one, and the huge one. And we can also enable auto hide. Now, as you can see, if we drag the mouse right here on the bottom edge, the dock will show up. 
And as you can see, when opening up the application, the, the, there will no be space for, from the dock, as you can see right there. So for demonstrational purposes, I will only um, enable this always show uh, dock for, for this uh, video. So let's say I will pick a medium size of the dock. I think this looks the best. Let's go to another setting. For example, this is the user. We can also add some more users just like in Windows. And we can also change um, language of the system. Battery, there is also no battery settings for this device because I'm currently on the desktop uh, computer. And about action as we go through, we went through earlier, the system version 0.3, uh, which is the latest version of this operating system. So this uh, Cutefish OS, uh, I think looks better than most of other any other distros. So, for example, Deepin I think looks quite nice as well. But uh, I think this one looks uh, even better than Deepin. And also, I think that Elementary looks also like Mac OS. But I think this one is far superior than uh, Elementary OS. So right now we will go through some Cutefish applications. So for example, File Manager is right there and it also looks like mac os and right now i will show you also a i will create new folder and i will show you the trash uh, icon change when it's full so for example i will just delete this brand new folder that we just created so i will move it to the trash and as you can see the trash icon changed now i will empty trash right here and I think the calculator, but I think the calculator isn't working right now and it's bugged. Maybe it will work in the new version of the Cutefish OS. And also uh, their application is also a console. Uh, it just like works like terminal. Uh, and this is their um, design on top of the, the console. And also I will show you the launcher. So as you can see, here we have a lot more applications from Cutefish team. Uh, right now, I will also show you this uh, uh, volume right here. We, we can turn right here uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on, as well as dark mode, and we can adjust some volume. And we, can, we have here also um, a, a clock. And here we have the uh, power off button and uh, settings button. So for example, if I click on the settings, this is the setting that we already go when that we already went through, um, and uh, let me show you the let me show you the uh, power off uh, menu. As you can see, it looks quite nice. A shutdown option, reboot, and logout, and suspend. Thank you all for watching this video, and if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to the channel is much appreciated. And with that being said, I see you all in the next one. Peace.